Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to move 3D Stroke and tune it from your previous versions of Pinnacle or Avid Studio in the Pinnacle Studio 16. Yeah, I've been watching the internet. I've seen the post. I've seen the threads. I've gotten the questions on my Facebook page. I've gotten the questions on Twitter. Yes, I have. I've seen them all. And guess what? I've answered them. But since so many people are asking, I'm going to put it in a video. And you know, I did one video already on transferring plugins over. I didn't do these two in that video because, you know, I didn't really think it would be necessary, you know, just kind of follow along. But you know what? I'm not always right about those things. I guess a lot of people want to see it. So I'm going to show it to you now. First and foremost, I'm going to right click on this clip. And yeah, I could just go to the library and go to the folder, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. And from here, you have your add ons. If I click on add ons, you'll see I got some things that I transferred over, like uh, Boards Graffiti I transferred over, uh, Hieroglyph, I downloaded that on here, didn't transfer it really. Um, I had the new blue effects on here, but I, they were like uh, just the. Uh, you know, the freebie version, so I took that off. Uh, got Red Giant Filmmakers Toolkit, which comes with Pinnacle Studio 16. So you got your Cosmo, and that's for, you know, doing those cosmetic fix-ups on those close-up shots, girlfriend. Then we got our Magic Bullet for our color correction and different looks and things like that. And then we got Mojo, you know, that film look that you've been looking for. It gives you a lot of great, uh, you know, contrast and film looks. It's, it's awesome stuff. Now, also, you got your motion graphics toolkit. You got some old familiar faces here. You got Red Giant, No Light Factory. You got Particular, and you got Shine. You also got some newbies on here. We got, you know, these used to be able to, uh, you could purchase them, so they weren't, they're not really new, but they're new as far as free effects. Um, you got the Reflect. You get those great reflection looks, mirrored looks. And you got Shadows, add the Shadows and things to text and things like that. So these are all cool, but I'm missing my friends. My friends, 3D Stroke and Tune It are gone. I need them back desperately. So I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out Pinnacle Studio 16 because when I open it up, they'll be there. If I leave it open, they're not gonna be there. So I gotta close this out first. If you put, if you transfer them over while it's open, it's okay. Just close it and open it again and they'll be there. So I'm going to go to the start button on my computer and I'm going to go to computer. I'm going to go to the C drive. On the C drive, I'm going to go to program files x86. And I'm going to go to Avid. Now you, those of you, I'm sorry, who do not have Avid Studio, you could go to Pinnacle and then go to Studio 14 and then go to Plugins. Or Studio 15, whichever one. And then go to RTFX. And then you'll see that you have the Tunit SE here. And you also have the 3D Stroke SE here. So I'm going to go to the Avid folder and do all of this because I'm just an Avid Studio fan. Y'all know me. I was an Avid Studio, so I'm just going to roll with Avid Studio. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the Program Files x86 folder. I'm going to do it by clicking the word here. You can do the back button if you want to, but I'm just going to... Click on that location. I'm going to go back up to Avid. I'm going to double click it with the left mouse. I'm going to go to Studio. Double click that with the left mouse click. Plugins. Double click that with the left mouse. RTFX. Double click with the left mouse. Here's my file. Tune it. I've been missing you, my friend. Come with me. 3D Stroke. I've missed you as well. Come along, my brother. So... When I click on Tune It, I'm going to hold down my left mouse. Or I'm sorry. I'm not going to hold down my left mouse because I like my mouse. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to hold on the control button. And I'm going to also click on 3D Stroke. So that selects both of them. I can let go of the control button now. Or I can just hit C and it'll copy both of them. But I'm going to right click and go to copy. 
which copies both of those files. So I'm going to go back to Program Files x86. And now I'm going to go down to Pinnacle. And I'm going to go to Studio 16, Plugins, RTFX. And you can do Control V, or you could do like me and right click and paste. It's telling me I need to have uh, administrator permissions to copy this folder. And I do, so I'll just click continue. So now you see that the files are being copied over. See 3D Stroke is here now. And in a second, you're gonna see Tune It SE. And there it is. So let this continue until it's done. And it's a wrap, I got it in there. Yay! We did it. So let's go check and make sure they're there. You always want to check. So I'm going to open up a uh, Pinnacle Studio 16 from a shortcut on my desktop. Now that Pinnacle Studio 16 is open, I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor and then Add Ons. And now we see a, an extra red giant here. By golly, what could that be? Well, concern it. It's 3D Stroke and Tune It. They're there. All right. That's enough for that. Hey, we got them in there. This is what you wanted. You got 3D Stroke again and you got Tune It again. Congratulations, you can go ahead and keep using those for making your videos. Now, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. If you like this content, you found it valuable, you think others want to know about it, you think others want to see it as well, then click the like button, the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Also, leave me your comments. I love comments like a fat kid loves cake, okay? So leave them for me. I got to have those comments because you know what? They make me feel so good inside. And if you got a question and I can answer it, I'll answer it for you. If I can't, I'll point you in the right direction so you can get the answer taken care of. You can get the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you again soon <laughs>